Hello Technology Grays here and today we're going to be taking a look at new Apple EarPods and the real question is, do they work? Okay, so these headphones retail for $30 from the Apple Store or you can get them free with all the new iDevices and iPods and so on. Now leading up to these headphones, I was pretty excited. I saw the commercial and uh, they made it look really good. Comment below if you saw the commercial and you were pretty impressed. Anyways, I was I was really looking forward to opening up these headphones because they were a new design, they looked really cool, they were like totally different than anything I ever saw before, and my initial dis I was I was a little bit disappointed to tell you the truth. To be completely honest, uh, I was I don't think they they hit it perfectly with these headphones, and I'll tell you why. Now don't get me wrong, they are really good headphones for free headphones, and they are better than the previous ones. So don't freak out yet. Okay, so let's start with these bad boys designs. Now just at a quick glance, you can notice that the earbuds look different than they would normally. Uh, instead of having the headphone like right on it, 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 the speaker is actually off to the side. And now this actually makes sense because your ear is slanted, the canal in your ear is slanted and uh, what Apple claims is that when you stick these things in it, it will actually uh, propel the sound right into your eardrum, not bouncing it back and forth like other headphones. Now another really cool thing about this headphone is actually there's little slots and other speakers all around it. Uh, so at the very bottom here you can see two slots, one on each side, and that's supposed to allow airflow up and down the, the headphone to get maximized vibrations. It also increases the bass as they claim. Uh, there's also another speaker on the actual headphone itself and that's supposed to help with sound apparently too. Now these headphones also have controls, so you can turn up the volume, turn down the volume, you can pause, uh, and they feel really sturdy. Now there's also a mic in it too, and it's it's not phenomenal, but it's definitely, it's pretty good for a headphone microphone. Uh, so in, on that aspect of it, I really like these headphones, just for the controls and the microphone. But how do they fit? That is one of the most important questions with buying headphones. Will they fall out if I jump around? Will they fall out if I go for a run? And the answer for me was, for some people, these things will work amazingly. They will not fall out, they will not budge, they will fit and feel great. But for me, it was quite the opposite. I guess my ears are just special uh, because I, I kept on finding that the headphone would keep on falling backwards in my ear and it would just fall out constantly and it was very annoying. Now, could I use them? Yes. Uh, if As long as I wasn't moving around lots and pulling on the cord, it is very possible to use them. But I prefer the in-ear headphone approach where there's actually a rubberized tip and it will not come out. It actually goes into the ear canal, protects sound, uh, and it won't fall out. Now, it took three years for Apple to develop this. I think they could have used a little bit of rubber on the sides just to enhance the design, just to make sure that it doesn't stick out for all the special eared people in the world. Now the sound quality of these headphones are a lot better than the previous version. Uh, they have a lot more bass and the trebles and highs are okay. Uh, they're definitely not phenomenal. Like would I suggest you go and buy them? No. But getting them free with an iPod Touch or iPhone, it's definitely worth it. You'll probably get new headphones if you're really into sound. Uh, but if you're not, then these headphones will totally be fine for you. They sound decent. I could listen to my music, uh, but I just prefer my higher end headphones for listening to music. Life is too short to listen to bad headphones. I think that was from Monster Cable. That's their quote. I live it. Yeah. Another really cool thing about these headphones is it comes with a traveling case, so you can wind up your headphones and stick them in a suitcase and they'll be protected, uh, which is something we didn't see with these uh, previous headphones. Now overall, I wouldn't suggest someone to go to the store and actually buy them for 30 bucks, but for getting them in the Apple products, I think it's definitely an improvement. Uh, I didn't like that old Apple headphones and these are a little bit better, so I am happy with the improvement, but I would not recommend it for all the really big music lovers out there that this will be your primary headphone. I would definitely suggest you going to the store, maybe finding some other headphones for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, or maybe even going to the $100 uh, in-ear headphones from Monster Cable. Those are really good. Uh, so if you really like music, go and check those out. Anyways, if you want to see more things about the iPhone 5, check out the link in the description. I have a playlist there with all the iPhone 5 tests and reviews, and I'll keep on adding to that, uh, and it should be pretty cool. But I guess that's all uh, from Technology Crazy Goodbye. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and that's all.